Hey, what's going on guys? Richie Fix here back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the retro card back target exclusive Carnage. Now, if you were lucky to get this puppy and pre-ordered on the target website, it went really fast. I was actually shocked on how quick it went. Um, I didn't see a lot of desire for this figure. One, just because we have so many Carnage figures, especially from Marvel Legends. Granted, I don't know that we've gotten one yet back on the retro card back. We did get a Carnage 2 pack um, with the Black Suit Symbiote Spider-Man in the VHS series, but we did not actually get one in the Retro Cardback series yet. So, it's very interesting that they are making two of the most popular villains from the Spider-Man series in Carnage and Venom exclusives. Carnage being at Target and Venom being at Walmart. Why you wouldn't just make them a general release seeing they are so popular um, is beyond me, but hey. Uh, Marvel Legends, I guess, is gonna Marvel Legends, and again, with the Venom being at Walmart is insane to me, but that's okay, that's another video for another time. In fact, I already have a video out on that, so if you haven't watched it yet, go take a look. But hey, this is what we got. Where did I get this? A lot of questions about where did I obtain this. Um, it actually came from a Canadian store. It's called CMD Collectibles. If you want the website, it's actually C as in Charlie, M as in Mary, D as in David, store... Dot com. So if you want to go check it out, unfortunately, it is no longer in stock. I happen to see Paternia on their X feed post this, and I just jumped on it because I missed out on the pre-order. And I don't think it's going to be super hard to find this puppy in Target, um, but I say that, and then, you know, maybe it is. But I would try out. I would never... I would never, if you wanted to get this, let it hanging. Like, say, I'll go get it tomorrow, because it won't be there. That's just how the world works now. You can never think about anything the best thing to do is buy it and then if you don't like it or don't or have second thoughts return it because if you go back it will be gone so <laughs> if you find anything and that's not even just toys really anything buy it then you can take it back return policy is a beautiful thing so um taking a look at it it is the retro card back style um getting a close-up at the carnage there he is uh looking good uh we've seen this body mold before from the venom pool series i want to say um and then he does get those extra tendrils um i don't believe the other one came with the extra little accessories we, it looks like we got a dagger and then the axe and then you do get a picture of carnage right there on the left side and then the back uh just the same photo and then kind of showing you getting you a look at the actual figure and all the accessories that it does come with now before we open this puppy up what are my initial thoughts there's one glaring thing that I do not like about this figure, and it just, it screams to the picture. Where are the black teeth? I don't like white teeth on my Carnage. He looks a thousand times better, in my opinion, with black teeth. He looks like a demon, goblin, something sadistic that you don't want to mess with with the black teeth. The white teeth is just, it looks... It look, especially when you can't really even do them that pointy. Like, that's about as pointy as you can get, and they kind of look rabbity to me. Almost like, yeah, like a rabbit. And that's not what I want to think when I hear Carnage, because why? Cletus Cassidy is a serial killer, a murderer, one of the most evil, sadistic villains in the Spider-Man universe. And here he is looking... I just... I don't like the teeth. You fix that and make those teeth black, this could be one of the best Carnage figures they put out. But no, they have done the black teeth, I think, on the Venom Pool Wave Carnage. So if you do like that look, this is pretty much one and the same with that figure. But this is brand new and it does come with some extra accessories and it is on the retro card back. But why? I get that they want to go back to that Toy Biz look because the Toy Biz Carnage had white teeth. But how are you going to put a picture of Carnage with the black teeth on the left and then not use that source material for your actual figure? So, again, that's just something, like I said, it's a personal preference. If you like the white teeth, if you're all in on the white teeth, I have nothing against you. Hey, team white teeth all the way for you. But for me, I like the look of Carnage. That right, that right there, that right there is Carnage to me. But hey, I think I've said enough about the teeth that that's really just immediately the glaring gripe that I do not like about this figure. But will it ruin everything for me or is there, is there some salvage? Is there enough to be saved here? I don't know. We're going to take a look. Let's open it up. Let's go. 
if any of you guys were actually curious on how I open these, I just kind of slit the side right there. We'll pull that out like that. We don't ruin the card back by any means, but that's how we get them out. Just like that. You can see, just do some slits with like an X-Acto knife on the side. So you can keep the bubble, keep it pretty nice looking. I don't know if anybody's interested in that, but I thought I'd throw this in here. Taking a look at Carnage, and I like it. Like I said, I think it's a nice head sculpt. The eyes look super cool. I like that. It's just the teeth. We already talked about that, so I'm not going to harp on that anymore. But taking a look at articulation and what's going on here, immediately, guys, I want to show you this. Look at the gummy. Oh, my God. That is some scary business right here. I feel like I could just snap that right off if I absolutely wanted to, but... Um, yeah, that thing is scary. This thing, ugh, man, I don't know what happened with the plastic quality or if the old vet... I actually had never opened my old Carnage. Um, I don't know why. I was kind of a not opener of toys back then, I guess. Or I just never got around to it. But if the old one is as gummy as this, my god, I feel like, whoo, baby. This thing kind of moving it around initially when I opened it was scary. I, this thing actually popped right off, so... Um, we're going to show the articulation here. He does get the double jointed elbows. Again, very scary. <laughs> this guy around. Holy shit. feel like he's going to break. He does get a butterfly where he does get to go back about that far. Um, let's see where we're at. Let's see if I can get that one back too. Not super. It doesn't like it. Not going back super far. You can get back about that far on a, on a, on a wind back. He gets about back that far. And then he does get some uh, bicep swivel, does get some wrist articulation, does go in like that. Um, and then as far as head articulation, basically no tilt. Um, can look down about that far, pretty good. Can look up, not very much at all. Um, yeah, you're not getting his head up at all, pretty much. And then uh, does get an ab crunch of about that far. And then can lean back about that far. And then uh, he can, his leg goes out that far. Can calm all the way up. Pretty good. Like I said, this is all pretty good, man. These knees, too, are scary. Jesus. Do a little bit of an ass kick there. Boop, boop, boop. And then uh, does get a thigh swivel, which is nice and tight. And then uh, does get a calf swivel. And then the feet go that far back can go that far forward and then does get some ankle rocker there which yeah you know how an ankle rocker works so i like it um what does this carnage actually come with does come with a back piece that you can just plug in in the back there as you can see just go ahead and give it a little plug in and it looks pretty good. I don't know that I'd keep him with this. I don't know. For some reason, it looks more like vines to me than symbiote tendrils. But that's okay. I mean, if you like it, it's an option. It's an option. And then real quick, what I'm going to do is take off the hands. And then we'll show you the accessories there. And we'll wrap this puppy up. All right, guys. Here is Carnage with the alternate accessories. He does get like a battle axe, which looks very similar to a Batman symbol um that he gets there and then he does get like his sickle and scythe um which is all textured with the symbiote too so it's very very cool like i said this is just basically a re-release of a target exclusive um or excuse me coming as a target exclusive from that uh venom um marvel series legend that we had a few years back again the head is really going to be the change there and then um you do get those accessories with the back piece and the uh hand accessories so on a one to ten what am i going to give this i'm going to give this about a six and a half to a seven guys i i there i this figure is so scary with the gummy i have to warn you about that man this thing just feels so scary to move around now i don't even know if i'm going to keep this one to be honest i might just throw it back up on ebay and wait for it to come out in october i just I don't know that there's... I just want to keep it on card, and maybe that's about it, because this thing is scary as hell to move around. If you're a guy that's just going to pose around it once and and then let it go, let it be, maybe you get... A, maybe you're... I don't know. This one's just super scary with the... Well, I don't know what kind of plastic this is. I don't know. I know that it's been this way with other figures before, but this one here just seems... Man, kind of scary. Kind of spooky. And, uh... <laughs> Again, me just not liking the head sculpt a whole ton. 
um i just don't know i'd be fine waiting until it hits target stores to pick up a couple more so uh guys if you are interested i can put an ebay link in the description below when that thing goes live um if it's not there at the time of me posting this video just keep checking back it'll get updated in there but um yeah um cmdstore.com is where i initially got this unfortunately is not on stock for all those you're just gonna have to wait until target or you can even go on ebay and see if this thing pops up which like i said i'm probably gonna post this thing up but it is open obviously because i had to do the review with it but other than that guys uh like i said i would very likely recommend the other one but if you want to get the retro card back and you're a collector of all of them like i am then i would might leave this one on card just due to the gumminess again so scary <laughs> but other than that guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did leave the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new richie figs later